Welcome back to the AI for Good Global Summit in Geneva. And I'm now joined by really one of the key people participating in this whole week-long summit. Um, her name is, I always hope you care about this, Anushe Ansari. Perfect. CEO of the XPRIZE Foundation. Yes. Um, you know, crucial to the whole thing. But for people who maybe are a little unfamiliar, what is XPRIZE? XPRIZE is a non-profit organization that uh, basically launches grand competitions to address biggest challenges humanity faces because we believe that there is someone out there in the crowd that has the answer to these problems and by incentivizing them and creating these competitions we bring them to the table, we shine a light on the issues and bring the crowd to solve it. And I know there's a whole bunch of candidates here, I mean the top prize is three million dollars I think. Um, what kind of ideas are you looking for? What kind of creativity are you looking for? We have seven domains. So we have prizes in the energy, education, environment, health and longevity, mobility and transportation, civil society. So we have prizes in all these categories. Uh, we have just awarded our Global Learning X Prize, which was $15 million. Um, that was a prize sponsored by Elon Musk. Uh, op opening up the marketplace for open-based software that will teach kids reading, writing, and arithmetic without the help of a teacher. We have a uh, ocean discovery, which is about ocean mapping that we'll be awarding tomorrow. And uh, we have two active prizes around AI for Good, which is the teams that are building and using AI solutions to address the SDGs, as well as an avatar, ANA Avatar X Prize, that is about creating a robotics presence where you can uh, fully engage in being present and sense everything and do everything as if you were in another location, but do it through an avatar. Indeed, when you, talk, you touched on SDGs, is that why you've made the link with the UN here? Yes, we uh, always look at large institutions and how we can really transform the way they uh, use their resources to address, uh, you know, big challenges. So ITU has a great presence and relationship uh, amongst all nations and also amongst a lot of um, uh, corporate entities that are involved with technology. So we felt in order to address AI uh, for good, engaging in a dialogue through their membership and through their engagement. Uh, as a trusted entity, it would be a great place to have this very difficult conversation around AI. You've been here a couple of years now. Um, what's your thoughts? I mean, everything's about you know, the good of AI, um, the positive side of AI, because there's a lot of negative potentials. Are you optimistic more than a year ago or what? Or I am very optimistic. So when we started the first year, I think there were only 250 people that participated. Uh, I think 2,500 people registered today. And uh, I was at the last session, uh, which was also running late, half an hour, but the room was packed. People are engaged. Everyone around the hallways talked about how this conference is very different because we're not just talking about optimism. We're talking about practical solutions and we are having a very difficult conversation about ethics, about uh, sharing of knowledge and data and business model and sustainability. And it's a cross section of public and private sector, government agencies and nonprofit organizations all coming together to see how we can help really bring the best power of AI in solving, um, you know, challenges related to SDGs. When you're wandering around the corridors after your speeches, what are people asking you? So first, uh, I get a lot of people thanking me for working uh, with ITU and for XPRIZE bringing this conference together and allowing for the dialogues to take place. And they're asking me about how they can help, which is wonderful. Um, so that means that they're engaged and they're inspired to find solutions. So um, creating dialogues, we talked about uh, at the last um, you know, talk I did about we want this to be a do conference, not a talk conference. So I hope that out of the conversations, we will have many projects that will take shape and take place. So next year when we're back here, hopefully we can talk about what we've done and the accomplishment and the advancements we've made. Great. Well, that's Dr. Ansari from the XPRIZE Foundation, the CEO of that. Thank you very much for your time. My pleasure. Thank you.